Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Cho coming at you here with a little update on World War II. Um, recently, as of November 10th, a new patch just came out. So I'm just going to run through the, the multiplayer um, updates first. First thing, they improved the connectivity, but as you saw in that last game, um, or I mean, we, we might upload this one after, but that game on... Um, whatever do hawk whatever phenomenal map by the way in my opinion i was lagging like no other but this one seems to be better so i really hope that they fix that uh, apparently kids were getting deranked but if that's happened to you don't worry they fixed it and i'm not sure if you could get your your level back by any chance but you know it it is double xp weekend so grind Grind those levels out, and you should you should be golden. Um, they fixed the the leaderboards. Um, this this was a problem for us only in the sense of our accuracy. Um, no, our score per minute it was negative, and clearly you can't really have negative score per minute if you're leveling up. Uh, but all all that should be fixed. General UI improvements. Honestly, I'm not sure what that means. Loading optimizations. I mean, if you guys have played this, you know that loading screens take years on end. Um, we actually have a few bloopers of minute-long loading screens, and I talk over them just just because Rob thinks it's funny. And we'll probably upload that eventually. You know, once once we get enough bloopers going, it it is pretty entertaining. So hopefully, you guys enjoy split-screen functionality improvements. Uh, we've never played split screen on World War II, and I'm not really sure if we're about to try, but apparently they fixed all the bugs with that, and now if you guys want to pair up, you guys are more than welcome to. Next thing, they um, added new unlock inventory stars to indicate whether new items are added. That that could be pretty helpful. I mean, you, you should know what you, what you have, what you unlock, but just in case if you're playing through... Uh, on this double XP weekend, and you get something and you didn't see it in the in the loading screen, well, now just go to your classes and there should be a little star right next to it just to kind of help things out a little bit more. Adjusted hit marker audio to make default level, and uh, this this can be adjusted in, in your settings if you guys really need. But beforehand, it wasn't always like I guess you could say clicking off or you know making that that noise. But now you can you can clearly hear it. Uh, that was never really a, a problem uh, that that we had, but we also run two bar most of the time. So maybe we just got used to playing with bugs. And Enemy recon aircraft in the air. but that's fixed now. They fixed out of world exploits in Gustav Cannon and Saint Marie Dumont, so you can no longer get out of the map. You, you can't really break the game like it was uh, supposed to do. Uh, supposed to do? Espionage basic, basic training um, is reduced from 10 seconds to 6 seconds and it made it only so the bullet damage came to you, not the, the concussion or grenade or anything like that. So that, that perk still sounds kind of OP and hopefully that they, they do something else with it. But still, six seconds is a long time, especially if you're playing like a search game, that that could win it for you basically immediately. Weapon, weapon tuning to allow for one-shot kills outside of hard, hardcore mode enabled challenge completion. Um, primarily I play hardcore, so that's not really a problem for me. But apparently they fixed that, so if you guys are going for the challenge now, you guys are more than welcome to complete it, and you should have no problem. Sometimes games, um, they'll, they'll just kind of give it to you if you've already completed it. Like, so maybe you guys have it, maybe you have to redo it, and if you, if you have to, that kind of sounds like a pain. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just another thing. They fixed the infinite flamethrower bug, and I'm not sure how people were doing this, but basically the flamethrower lasts until it's out of ammo or until it overheats a certain number of times. But there was a there was an exploit like where you kill yourself right before it ran out and it it would kinda basically refill its ammo or cool down or something along the lines of that. So uh, no more hacking with the flamethrower. 
Next thing, XP earn rate tuned in Operation Neptune. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what that is at all. Moving on to the next one. Fix issue of shotgun variants not appearing. Uh, we only have gotten one variant for the shotgun, and it showed up just fine. So I'm not sure which ones, but definitely just check your, um, I guess, variants on the shotguns, and they, they should show up, no problem. Emblem editor and visualization improvements. So if you guys want to get those dirty, those dirty visualizations going, feel free to. Now, now is your, your time. Game battle improvements. This one, Rob, more specifically, he, he enjoys jumping on that occasionally. Um, they made it more well-rounded, so that's that's fantastic. And the last one, real quick, is they fixed the Gridian Ball exploits. Uh, never never really played that, so I mean I never really had a problem with that. Moving on to the weapon tuning updates. First off, we'll start with the buff. Well, buffs, I guess. Um, the toggle action shotgun, they increase the damage at extremely close range and um, increase the damage, I guess, at semi close range. I mean, it's probably not as much as the extremely close, but that gun was pretty terrible and you, you kind of had to spray a little bit to uh, do decent with it. But then again, that gun can spray a little bit, so it's not really a bad thing. Um, the Bren LMG increased damage per shot. They increased everything, um, but they didn't increase the range. So it should act basically just better in the sense of damage and not really, you know, like a extended rifle or advanced rifling, I guess is what it's called in this. The LMG bipod um, speeds up ADS time only when the bipod is in stance. So... I mean, that, that includes the, the LMGs on the map, that includes if you have your LMG out on your specific class. So if you guys are LMG players, which I have only seen like three in my, my whole Call of Duty career on this game, shout out to those three people. Nerfs for the guns. The bar rifle, decreased fire rate, and they widen the hip fire spread. So it might not be as OP, but... Personally, I have used the bar probably three games, and I just thought it was average. Um, I, I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but personally, I prefer some machine guns. So, that could just be my, my style of playing is different in this game. But, you know, it ev everyone says, oh, bar, you should use that on your unlock token and you'll grind through the levels, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard that a thousand times. Oh, I just um, one more STG 44... They widen the hip fire spread as well as the bar. Um, FG 42 rifle, they increased recoil and widen hip fire spread as well. Sounds pretty accurate. That gun, that gun acted, I mean, not like the ACR, but the, the ACR had zero, zero recoil. This, this one had a little, but it was definitely, definitely OP in my opinion. Uh, machine pistol, they decreased damage range. So that, that's for everything. Um, Free for all. still, I mean, at pretty close range, it does melt people, and if you throw on dual wield, you know, it's, personally, I like that, but I know a lot of people don't like dual wield weapons. Advance, the position. sniper class, they fix the bug where whenever you zoom in, um, with the, um, the, the, the class set up with a sniper, um, your reticle was always directly down the middle. So now it's it's harder to get clips. It's a little bit harder to um, scope and just you know kill people normally because it'll take you a second to get directly into the middle, like where your your reticle shows. So nothing too too serious, but it, it does affect a lot of players. Uh, moving on to the zombies real quick. Um, they fixed an exploit um, on I guess the the main the main one um in, in the laboratory apparently you could get get on a closet and use some revive mechanic and like auto revive yourself an infinite amount of times so they fixed that and sadly the the scores that are already on the leaderboard um they look like they're going to stick but you know it's still early in the game so i doubt many people did them um they also fixed 
the claws pathing, which I am not sure what claws is. I'm assuming he's one of the bosses, but I have not watched really any zombies videos. I've just kind of messed around in the zombies. So I'm assuming the boss tracks you a little bit better and he doesn't just run into the wall. Uh, it's just a guess though. Um, and last thing in the final reach, they fixed Enemy the outworld exploit. Um, it doesn't really say what that one is, but um, yeah, they they made it so you can't really get out of the map anywhere, and you can't revive yourself. So that's that's all for the November 10th Enemy recon aircraft patch observed. update. Um, I personally am glad that they're already updating the game, making sure that everything runs smoothly. Because I mean, who who wants to go up against a bar that just melts them every time? Although in free for all hardcore, no one really uses that. So personally, I never had a problem. But if you guys play core, let me know if you guys notice a difference in the bar. Um, I mean, or maybe just all ARs in general. But as, as you can see in, in this gameplay right now, Rob is using the bar and he's on top. Not, not saying that he's bad or anything, but like he doesn't seem to be doing too bad with the bar. And it seems to be still generally as consistent as it was. Maybe a little bit a little bit slower fire rate but you know that that kind of just helps with a mad recoil and there's only 20 bullets in the clip anyways for for stock so it's not it's really not the end of the world um as you can see i mean he's he has 16 kills and only four minutes has gone by so he's not doing bad by any means and he's on top so you know you, you could still definitely get gameplay through the bar if you want and I mean, besides that, they they buff the LMGs. No one no one really uses those, so like that's not a problem. They increased the damage of one shotgun, and again, um, uh, apparently if you're playing PS4, no one no one uses shotguns anyways. But if you guys are on Xbox, some people use shotguns, but I feel like the the dual barrel and the the sawed off are stronger and people are using those more anyways as time goes on so really it doesn't look like much has changed in the game even though i just listed actually quite quite a bit of things they just primarily fix bugs connection um you know stuff like that so important stuff and i mean i'm, I'm glad that they're staying on top of it because some call of duties they really they really don't care about their game and it it just it, it ruins it for some people uh anyways this is robin Cho signing out i'm gonna let the game finish and i hope you guys enjoy feel free to like if you guys you know have any recommendations in future cod cod content let us know and we'll be sure to make it uh anyways subscribe for more content and updates see you guys on the next one Soldier.